Hello everyone, my name is Elkana 5 right here. Hope you do enjoy this Destiny 2 news video. If you do, do enjoy this video, be sure to subscribe for more content. I'm pretty much going to be rounding up what Bungie has said about what's coming next week. And yeah, sit back, relax, and then enjoy the video. So, first things first, what's everyone's mind is Iron Banner will we be returning. It will be on Control. And it'll have his own separate playlist, and it always will be control, which is nice to just play control, but it's also kind of aids on Destiny 2 because of this 4v4 shit. But we'll see how it goes. Um, it starts on October 10th, 2 a.m. Pacific time, which is 10 a.m. UK time, and it ends on October 17th, 2 a.m. Pacific time, which is 10 a.m. UK time again. So you've got a whole week of actually, you know, be able to bash out the Iron Banner. The power level will not matter at all in the Iron Banner, same with the uh, Trials of the Nine in Destiny 2. It all depends on your teamwork, your gun skill and your ability skill on winning Iron Banner. There will be no bounties in Iron Banner or anything like that. It will be tokens like you do in Destiny 2. You get tokens for playing the actual matches. You get one at every single match, but probably get a, a bit extra if you win a match after a loser streak, something like that probably. But we'll have to wait and see. But also with the tokens and milestones, there'll be two different milestones. To activate the first one, you well actually both of them actually, you will have to go to Lord Saladin in the tower and he'll grant you these two quests. And on the first quest is pretty much a daily quest, which is pretty much just complete three challenges in the Iron Banner, which you regularly do anyway on a daily basis. Then the other one is a season um, Iron Banner, which you have to give in 10 ingrams to um, Lord Saladin or collect 10 ingrams if to say at least. So rank him up 10 times and you'll finish that milestone and apparently it'll give you a powerful ingram. Which would be quite nice and it'll probably drop all the armor. Speaking of the armor, this is all the Iron Banner armor for all three sets with the Titan, the Hunter and the Warlock. And I'm very happy to see that the Hunter actually looks quite cool in this Iron Banner um, armor set. Uh, this is a default shader as well with the actual Iron Banner set. So you, will, can, you can use the shader on something else if you please to. If you do like this kind of green goldy kind of color with, the, uh, color with the Iron Banner. You also get two different emblems. And this is the first emblem which you regularly just get from either the Ingrams. Or you get it from just playing the matches. This is the second Ingram which you will get from probably at the end of this milestone. Which is quite a nice looking Iron Banner Emblem, I do have to say. The guns have not been previewed whatsoever, which is kind of a shame really. I kind of want to see what kind of guns they have, but we'll have to wait and see what they will drop. I bet Bungie just keep it a secret for uh, the weapons wise. And most likely the weapons will be like a selection of weapons for each season. So like they've done with the factions, you only get a certain amount of weapons from each faction. Most likely the same thing is going to be happening with the Iron Banner here. So there'll probably be like a sidearm, grenade, grenade launcher, and probably like a pulse rifle or something. And then, you know, another time when Iron Banner returns the month after, it'll be different something else. So be quite easy to understand. You also now have the hard, made, the, uh, hard mode raid that will be returning next week as well on the Tuesday. As you see here, it is 300 power, same as the uh, Nightfall with a Sheast of Kui. And people are beginning to uh, speculate if the power cap is raising. Uh, apparently it's supposed to be raising, but not that much. Uh, it's supposed to be like 310, 320 most likely for um, to get all this, um, you know, be able to actually be stand a chance to get the raids and stuff like that. And if you do not know, Prestige Mode is pretty much just a hard mode raid. It's what it is from, like, from previous Destinies. Whereas it's just a bit more challenging. The enemies are a lot harder to kill. And also there'll be different mechanics in place. So you have to like... You know, work your way around this mecha new mechanic they put in and be able to defeat the boss. But you also get um, special, like, different types of gear, like as usual in, in the other Destinies. You get the same as this one in this raid. Hope you do enjoy this video, guys. This has been the Body Echo 5 right here. Hope this video has helped out a lot and hopefully you did enjoy. I'm very excited for Iron Banner. Sadly, I'm on holiday day. Uh, so I won't be able to actually grind out the Iron Banner loot until Saturday or next Saturday even. So I have to wait then. And also with a hard rate as well, I'll do that as well. But anyway, like I said, it's been a boy Oakland 5. Have a nice day and take care of people. Goodbye.